after winning world championships two times in a row. It was time for Finnish Team Delta to retire. Finland was now on the hunt for a strong team that could continue their success globally. Team Ampirat and Tiklit from two different clubs, united into one team, called Ampirat, coached under Lisa Lapalainen and Lisa Olkavist Lee Kosuo. They prepared a strong routine for the upcoming season. The choreography was made on Fergie's famous song Be Italian, which was made for romantic musical drama film 9 in 2009, and immediately caught the attention. Be Italian Be Italian Take a chance and try to steal a fiery kiss Be Italian Be Italian When you hold me, don't just hold me, but hold this World Cup 1 was held in Uvaskla, Finland, from 26th to 28th of March The Finnish team Amperit won competition sovereignly, with almost a two-point advantage over the second-ranked team Nabessa, from Russia. Only 0.1 point behind them, the second Russian team, Madonna, came in third. In junior category, Russian team Victoria won gold medal. in front of Russian team Udok Novini and Estonian team Yannicka Jr. Of course, after one competition, it was impossible to figure out who will be the winner of the season. Nevertheless, Everything pointed to a fight for victory, between the Finns and the Russians in both categories. With Victoria and Ampirit winning the first World Cup by a wide margin. World Cup 2 was organized in Brno, Czech Republic, between 23rd and 25th of April. At the same time, the Junior World Championship was held, which was held separately from the senior one until 2014. We will mainly focus on seniors, but let's take some time to discuss juniors. Team Victoria from Russia, Junior World Championships winners from 2009, won gold medal again, with an amazing choreography on music, called Devil and Angel, by Maxime Rodriguez.
Finnish team Phosphorit, which won silver medal, went in more traditional style. Music was called Gula Gula, performed by Norwegian Sami singer, Mari Boyne, who was known for combining traditional Sami joik singing with rock. Novini from Russia, took bronze medal. Their routine was made on a selection of instrumental so-called film music by Soviet-German composer Alfred Schnitka, played by Berlin Radio Symphony Orchestra. As I already mentioned, there was another competition in Brno at the same time. World Cup 2. Finnish team Ampirit claimed their second victory of the season, leaving Russian team Oscar on second, and Russian team Madonna on third place. Annelie Leinertinen, who coached multiple world champions, Finnish teams Dynamot and Deltut, was named for a head coach of Finnish national team in rhythmic gymnastics in spring. She started preparing six girls to compete in group at World Championships 2010. 
But after World Cup II, she created Team Photonet, which consisted of those rhythmic gymnasts and some other girls. Nobody saw that coming. But the team started competing at international competitions with a strong routine by Finnish choreographer Antoine Lane. World Cup 3 was held in Barcelona, Spain, from 14th to 16th of May. As expected, and Pierrot won gold medal again. With this victory they made it clear, that they would be defending the world title, that Finland had won a year before. Madonna finally won silver medal. And Team Oscar placed third. As mentioned, this was first international competition of Team Photonet. And they already finished in fourth position. Now let's check national championships that happened that year. In Russia, Team Oscar won in woman category, followed by Team Madonna on second place. And Team Nebesa on third place. In Finland, Team Ampirit won gold medal. Team Fatonit was second and Team Freyot finished third. The 11th World Championships were organized from 10 to 12 June, in the Bulgarian seaside town of Varna. 27 senior teams from 13 different countries competed. The first favorite to win was definitely the Finnish Team Ampirit, which won all the World Cups until then. The first day of the competition traditionally had preliminaries on the schedule, from where 10 teams qualified for Sunday's finals. Surprisingly, it was led by the team for Tonit, which received a score of 18.45. In second place was the team Madonna, with only a slightly lower score of 18.4. Third place was shared by three teams, the Finnish team Ampirit, the Bulgarian national team and the Russian team Oscar, with a score of 18.1. Madonna and Fatonit were also the only teams to surpass the 9 mark in execution, so it was expected battle for the win between these two teams. As we previously mentioned, 10 teams won a spot in Sunday's finals, but nothing was decided yet, since the difference between the 1st and 5th ranked team was only 0.35. Team Ampirit made a mistake in a balance and had lower execution, Therefore they lost too many points to be in competition for a medal. They received a score of only 17.9. On the other hand, Team Oscar did a good performance, but was also not enough for podium. They received a score of 18.150. Fatonit and Madonna both received 18.7, while Bulgarian national team got 18.5. Based on a total score, Fatonit won. Madonna was second and national team from Bulgaria third. Fatonit's choreography was made by Antoine Lane, and was based on an science fiction film Avatar from 2009. The music is called Shutting Down Grace's Lab, by James Horner.
es la música de la banda. Madonna's choreography was made by Sonia Glazina, on an instrumental piece, by French composer Maxime Rodriguez, called D'Artagnan. <laughs>
National team from Bulgaria had a choreography composed by Elena Dukova, on a song Dolla Redonna, from the 2002 Indian period romantic drama film Dev Das. So, this is how the biggest event of the season ended. We could say that for Donut was the black horse of the season, that took home the most prestigious award of the year. Despite the victory, their journey ended here, as part of the team competed in the World Rhythmic Gymnastics Championships in September, as I mentioned earlier. Ampirit, however, continued the season after hoping to win the World Cup overall gold. And they got it. The World Cup was held in Paderborn, Germany, from 21st to 24th of October. Madonna finally came to their first win of the season, with a pretty big gap in front of Ampirat on second place, while Bulgarian team Akademik won bronze. Ampirat celebrated their win in the overall World Cup standings, Madonna was second and Nebessa was third. I would like to mention here Christina Tashfa who was a member of bronze medal winning team Akademik from Bulgaria. She used to compete here as a gymnast, but now she is known by her incredible choreographies of national team Bulgaria. Although the success of the Fatona team ended as quickly as it began, in 2011, part of the team teamed up with the girls from Ampirit and competed under the well-known name of O-Team. I would also like to mention here Jenna, Alava Tola, who was the captain of this team until the end of 2017 season. At the World Championships she won gold with the Fatona team in 2010, silver in 2013 and bronze in 2017, both with the OVO team. After 2010, the success of the Finnish teams died down, 
as they did not win a single medal at the World Championships until 2013. So, 2010 was a really exciting year for aesthetic gymnastics. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned new things. I will be happy for your feedback in the comments and of course all the sharing with your friends. For more such content please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and Happy New Year.